time to, to walk through it and county council and others suggesting changes can point out what the significant proposed changes are. Uh, from what I've read so far, I think a lot of it is uh, clarifications and cleanups and, and things like that uh, with a relatively few number of uh, more significant changes that we will want to spend more time discussing. But I think it would help in our review if we first go through the proposed changes. And I, I know that uh, for me, the, what I received previously, uh, the formatting wasn't all quite correct on it. And then also the, uh, the format of showing all of the strikeouts and the underlining with the uh, rather extensive changes that are proposed it's a little hard to follow, and this morning we do have a clean copy in front of us, which I think will be uh, very helpful, but uh, I would appreciate taking the time today to go through it and uh, hear from, from staff uh, what the significant changes are, and maybe we can even give some preliminary direction. Uh, Supervisor Colfax. Supervisor McCowan, I'm not clear. Are you suggesting we go through it now? Or, no. or we take the time and have it considered in the future? Continue the today. Ta take the time today to uh, have staff walk us through it and say these are the significant proposed changes. No. No, we're not going to do that today. This, if, if we we if don't, this I'm not, we don't need to have the discussion of it. For instance, the 530 rule, potentially, depending on what people think could be an extended discussion, but let's at least identify what staff believes are the significant changes. Okay. And I think we could do that fairly efficiently and answer questions for clarification. So hopefully we'd be in a position to take action at our next meeting. Well, if I may respond sure. to the chair. Uh, last night I was reading this, it was very late, I have to admit, around midnight. Uh, I started about 11 o'clock and by midnight I was starting to have uh, imagining uh, that's not really what it means. There's something insidious about this. There's something, you know, I became par very paranoid uh, for no good reason except for the fact is the key to the very uh, marked up document before me uh, was not before me all the time. I would like to see the cleaned up copy. I did not get to my uh, rack this morning getting in here right before the board meeting. So there may be a clean copy that would facilitate that discussion. However, I'm not sure here that some of the issues that may come up with a careful reading of a cleaner copy, a less cluttered copy, uh, <coughs> would allow a better discussion here because I'm still going to be working from the one I read rather than the one I have yet to go back and grab and uh, go through. So in that sense here, I have really no great problems. I have real no really no issue as I understand the document. But at this point here, I'm not comfortable that I fully grasp some of the changes that may be more subtle or have implications that I'm really not uh, prepared at this time to uh, take very, very seriously. And so in that sense, I'd like to defer until the next meeting a discussion of the rules because the rules have gotten us in trouble and the rules have kept us out of trouble in the past. And I'd like to make sure we have a document that we're really comfortable with rather than something we move through. I can sit here and listen, but I, at that point, would probably still have some questions about what really is said on page such and such, and I don't think we have really the time to go through that today in mm -hmm. a systematic way. Tom, did you have something to say? Yes, uh, Tom Mitchell, Chief Executive Officer. Um, a lot of the information came to us uh, late yesterday. Our office has a number of suggested clarifications also that we need to route through county council. So I don't think we're at the point where we can, it would be productive for us to have a discussion today. I think the best uh, course of action would be re all parties refer information to county council. County council can then draft a new clean document and route it around. I, I just, we're all working off different copies at, at this point, and there are significant changes that our office is still has uh, have not been incorporated into the document. So I think it's best if we defer the actual discussion till you have a, a document that includes all the items. I'm going to take this discussion back kind of the basics. If it ain't broke, why fix it? 
I, I don't know why we're spinning, you know, this rules of procedure has been working for years and frankly quite well. There was discussion about maybe eliminating the 530 rule, but on the other hand, I don't think that the 530 rule was, it, is being abused. So I, I, before we go into this whole process, and I, and I was kind of disappointed to see all this work already being done with county council of all these proposed changes when there really was been no direction by the previous board to change the rules. So where all this changing of the rules comes from, I don't really understand it because there's been a lot of work done in this and it was never directed by the board to, to do that direction. So I think we need to stop a little bit here what we're doing. I'm, I'm not in favor of changing any of the rules. I think the rules have been tried and, and, and true to their service for years. I don't see any, ch any need for any changes to include the 530 rule. Well well, I, I think every year we do look at the rules of procedure, and I think this year in particular... It's a formality. Yeah, we well, it, but know. this year in particular, we look, we're looking at just cleaning up the wording and the language of the rules, and, and really the significant changes, you know, address the 530 rule, address who's in charge when the vice chair or the chair is absent, uh, you know, a few other m minor changes like that or significant changes like that, but it's also kind of a reorganization so that it's... It's just a clear document to read. It's something we should have done, year, I think, several years ago, but we just never got it done. And I think you know the CEO's office has a few more things they want to add in, and then I think the full board can discuss it, and, and you either approve it or you don't, and, and, and we can move on from there. I just feel this board ought to real walk so softly on this idea of all of a sudden changing the rules. They've, they've been, you know, they work well for years, and I, I uh, I don't support any rule changes as far as at this point. Well, Do except uh, for changing the order of agenda, which I believe you're proposing. So, and that's currently incorporated into the rules and would require an amendment to the rules to effect. So, you know, I would suggest, I, I certainly agree with the suggestions based on the discussion that we defer this. I think we need to have a, a an updated version that would show all the proposed changes and have it be assured that this is the version that everybody's looking at. We should also have the clean version. Uh, this is with the understanding that the, what is proposed, what comes to us is suggested. It'll be up to us to adopt any or all of it or not. But I think we ought to keep open-minded to the idea that the rules could use some cleanup and some clarification. Uh, they were originally adopted in 1975. They've been amended over a dozen times since then. There's been a lot of people cobbling this together. And um, as I read them, it does look to me like there's things in there that are redundant or we've taken many words to say what could be said in a few. So let's be open to the idea that we might be able to streamline them and make them more readable and more beneficial both to us and the public. So my suggestion would be that, that we direct staff to incorporate all of the suggested changes from all sources and we should probably put a deadline on that and then uh, make sure that they get a one unified correct copy of all the proposed changes and a clean copy to us and that that should come to us uh, at least several days in advance of our next meeting. Supervisor Smith. Yeah. Oh, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, well, I, I agree with Supervisor McCowan. I think that it doesn't hurt to take another look at it. I don't think we're going to spend an inordinate amount of time on it. But I remember there was one juncture at this during this year that that I had a question on one of the rules, and I went to council and. It really wasn't clear. It really wasn't clear. You know, you almost could interpret it two ways depending on which emphasis of the long, lengthy sentence you decided to sort of focus on. So I think that if it's going to create clarity so we don't and, and eliminate those times during the year that we